as part of the Sustainable Development Goals Flag Day and 7th anniversary. The government of St. Martin recognized the EPIC Foundation as the recipient of the SDG Champion Award. To witness this achievement and receive this award on behalf of EPIC Foundation was Mr. Ruben Thompson and presented by Deputy Prime Minister Egbert Duran with support by staff of the Department of Interior and Kingdom Relations, BAC. Environmentalist and associate Ruben Thompson of EPIC Foundation, during his thank you remarks, gave appropriation to Mr. Emilio Wilson and his vision for St. Martin some 30 years ago. Mr. Thompson expressed his appreciation and continued commitment to the realization of the SDGs for St. Martin. I was thinking to myself how appropriate it is for us to be gathered here today to mark SDG Flag Day at the Emilio Wilson Cultural and Historical Park, a park made available to the people of St. Martin by its owner, the late icon, Mr. Emilio Wilson, who himself was an advocate for the sustainable development of St. Martin. I invite you to look up Mr. Emilio Wilson on YouTube. You'll find a video of some 30 years ago in which he, in his own unique way, yet very St. Martin way, talks about the need for sustainable development of St. Martin. Allow me, on behalf of the board of EPIC, project teams, interns, and volunteers, to say a few words in appreciation of this occasion. According to the United Nations, and I paraphrase, the Sustainable Development Goals are a call for action by all countries to promote economic growth and prosperity while protecting people and the planet. Today, September 23rd, 2022, some seven years after the adoption of the Sustainable Development Goals, the SDG flag will be raised at various places in countries and territories all around the world to show support for these goals, which cover topics such as gender equality, access to quality education, decent work, clean water and sanitation, sustainable cities, and of particular interest for us in the context of which we are gathered here today, climate action and biodiversity, which includes life below water and life on land. Environmental Protection in the Caribbean St. Martin supports this global movement for a better world by acting locally. EPIC's mission is to promote conservation on St. Martin through research, education, outreach, and advocacy, and the EPIC team has been active on island for over 20 years. During this period, the foundation has operated programs such as the Environmental Education Program, the Love the Lagoon program, reforestation projects of wetland and hillside vegetation, the blue flag and green key eco labels for beaches and marinas, coastal wetland and neighborhood cleanups, a comprehensive inventory of St. Martin's flora, training hiking guides and the mapping of hiking trails. In order to achieve sustainable development, St. Martin, must find and implement ways to encourage and stimulate economic growth or stability while protecting the natural environment, our cultural heritage, and improving the overall quality of life of our population. We thank the Prime Minister, the Deputy Prime Minister, the Ministry of General Affairs, Buck in particular, and the Government of St. Martin for this recognition of EPIC's work. EPIC looks forward to supporting government in its efforts to meeting the Sustainable Development Goals, establishing St. Martin's first land-based and wetland protected areas, perhaps expanding the marine park and efforts to protecting our cultural heritage. I am hoping that perhaps one day in the not too distant future, we will be gathered here again to mark the occasion of the establishment of the entire remainder of the Emilia Wilson estate, including this park, as a protected area and national park. I thank you on behalf of EPIC and wish you a pleasant day. Deputy Prime Minister Egbert Dran, during his presentation, highlighted the projects that have propelled the EPIC Foundation as recipients of the Champion Award. While expressing his gratitude to the EPIC Foundation, 
for their continued hard work and dedication towards the implementation of the SDGs. Today, September 23rd, we commemorate the seventh anniversary of the Sustainable Development Goals, the SDGs. As Acting Prime Minister, I congratulate the Environmental Protection in the Caribbean Foundation, EPIC. EPIC Foundation has been selected as the SDG champion based on tremendous work carried out over the past couple of years. Projects such as the coastal and neighborhood cleanup, the information and awareness campaigns have become community staples. EPIC has displayed consistent commitment and served as an advocate for the environment of St. Martin. With that being said, I would like to congratulate Mr. Thompson and the entire team. I look forward to continued advocacy in protecting the environment of St. Martin. I would like to reiterate the appreciation and gratefulness on behalf of the government of St. Martin. God bless the people of St. Martin and happy SDG Flag Day. Mr. Thompson and team, I would like to congratulate you for a happy SDG Flag Day and also Thank you for your commitment to the environment of St. Martin and I look forward to collaborating much more, not only in my capacity as Deputy Prime Minister, but more so as Minister of Environment as well. Thank you once again and congratulations. Thank you very much, Minister. Much appreciated.